Hey everyone, CTN Technology News here, today doing a first look at the all new ultra affordable Moto G. Now the Motorola G is a solidly built plastic phone with a 4.5 inch screen, running the latest version of Android to be in any sort of widespread circulation. So far, it's pretty unexciting if you're in the market for a really high end smartphone like a Galaxy S4 or HTC One, but the Moto G starts at $179 for the 8GB version and goes up to $199 for the 16GB version, when, and compared to its rivals at that price, it's in another league. It offers a perfectly decent 5 megapixel camera whose pictures look better in the gallery than they do the second you take them. Now, Motorola has done very little to improve Google's now excellent Android interface, save for offering an assist function that makes it easier to switch it straight onto. Say all the settings you need for a meeting, and then an app to also help you migrate from a previous device. Other than that, this is pure Google, as you'd expect from a Google company like Motorola. Now, right now it is running Android 4.3 KitKat, but it will get the 4.3. 4 upgrade in January of 2014. Now, slow motion video is decent enough thanks to a quad core processor that is more than enough for most people's needs, but to put this phone through the kind of paces that might be relevant for the S4 is to miss the point. This is Motorola making a very conscious effort to upgrade the experience of smartphones for those who are not really into technology and willing to pay for it. It's an attempt to make Android, Wizzy voice recognition, and all into a mass market pre but premium experience. That's something that previous budget phones have tried and failed to do. You can also customize this device, 18 combinations are available, but you can also do almost anything you fancy on screen too, because there's none of the fiddling or locking down with this Android that you get from HTC or Samsung. In the hand it feels like a plastic mid-range device, but it feels like it should cost a lot more than $179. Now of course you're not going to get any really exciting extras like a fingerprint sensor or eye tracking feature, but you will be getting 10 hour battery life, which is good for all day use. Of course that is just talk time. So if you're playing really intensive games, don't expect the battery life to last that long. Let me know what you think of the Moto G in the comments below. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!